what the four temperaments tell about your character and your fellow human beings. What do the four temperaments reveal about you and your fellow human beings? The four temperament model can help you to understand yourself as well as every person you meet. What does a person focus on? What motivates him or her? What are his or her defense mechanisms? We will tell you in this video. The four temperaments and what they tell about each person. The temperament theory exists for over 2000 years. At first, it was part of humoral pathology in ancient medicine. It no longer plays any role in medical matters. However, its psychological significance is all the greater. Because of its precision and simplicity, it is still as up-to-date and effective as ever and forms the basis of many other classification systems. The four temperaments are the sanguine, the choleric, the melancholic and the phlegmatic. The temperaments are derived from primary features. Let us take a closer look at the four temperaments and primary features with the character compass by Stefan Fiebig. On the one hand, there are the properties active and extroverted or passive and introverted. On the other hand, there are the characteristics conflict avoiding or conflict seeking. These primary features occur in different combinations. The sanguine and the choleric are active and extroverted. The melancholic and the phlegmatic are passive and introverted. The sanguine and the phlegmatic are conflict avoiding. The choleric and the melancholic are conflict seeking. Each temperament therefore consists of two basic features. The sanguine is conflict avoiding and extroverted. The choleric is extroverted and conflict seeking. The melancholic is conflict seeking and introverted. And the phlegmatic is introverted and conflict avoiding. What does it mean in detail and how is it expressed? The sanguine you recognize by his or her easygoing attitude. The drive and motivation of a sanguine is his or her curiosity, interest and enthusiasm. His or her defense mechanisms are changing the subject as well as making distractions and jokes. You recognize the choleric in his or her effervescent manner. The drive and motivation of a choleric are own projects, power, desire and zest for action. His or her defense mechanisms are accusations, ranting and aggressiveness. His or her constructive quality is willpower. An unbalanced choleric can be hot-tempered and aggressive. The melancholic you recognize by his or her wistfulness. The drive and motivation of a melancholic are idealism, compassion or self-pity. His or her defense mechanisms are whining, crying, fleeing and being desperate. His or her constructive quality is devotion. An unbalanced melancholic may be depressed. The phlegmatic you recognize by his or her languor. The drive and motivation of the phlegmatic are habit and a sense of duty. His or her defense mechanisms are ignoring, stonewalling and non-reacting. His or her constructive qualities are patience and calm. An unbalanced phlegmatic can be unmotivated and very sluggish. What else you should know? We cannot just ascribe one of the four temperaments to a person. In principle, all four temperaments are present as a potential in every human being. One is clearly recognizable as a primary temperament. Another temperament appears less clearly as a secondary temperament. Thus, the other two temperaments usually play a very minor role. 
Certain combinations of temperaments as primary and secondary temperament are mutually exclusive. On the one hand, sanguine and melancholic, because no one can be superficially deep. On the other hand, choleric and phlegmatic, because no one can be calm in an effervescent way. All temperaments are equal and in themselves neither good nor bad. How a temperament expresses itself, or is acted out, is a matter of character development of a person. A well-developed sanguine, for example, will be a very interesting and versatile conversational partner, while an undeveloped sanguine will be superficial and volatile. How can you specifically recognize and assess the primary temperament of your fellow human beings or of yourself? When observing others, it can be helpful to see how someone acts in conflict situations or how he or she acts when encountering difficulties. If the person gets upset, he or she is probably a not particularly developed choleric, but is definitely right and will prevail, damn it. If the person is actively seeking a solution by him or herself, he or she is probably a developed choleric. If the person makes jokes or distracts from the situation, he or she is likely to be an undeveloped sanguine. But that's not so bad, right? If the person has all sorts of solution options, or if you can get him or her enthusiastic about solving the situation, he or she is probably a well-developed sanguine. If the person reacts desperately or complains, he or she is probably a rather undeveloped melancholic. If the person approaches the solution with dedication and idealism, he or she is probably a well-developed melancholic. If the person ignores the conflict, or does not want to admit it, he or she is probably a not very well-developed phlegmatic. However, I do not want to hear anything about that. If the person acts calmly to restore the usual order, he or she is probably a developed phlegmatic. In the following videos, we will go into the four temperaments in detail with some more interesting examples. Tell us in the comments what you found particularly valuable and what your experience with the four temperaments yourself. Thank you for being here. We wish you a heroic time and say see you soon. Oh, and if you have not already done so, click the like and subscribe button. See you.